Hey, welcome to my Facebook page and my YouTube channel. This is uh, Sichamba Jacob. In this video, we shall try to look at uh, what we call geometric progression. So under geometric progression, if you are doing ECZ or GCE, just note that this topic, geometric progression, come in paper two. All right. So here with me is a question. We have been given a sequence. This is the progression. We have got a 4, 8, 16. 4, 8, 16, and so on and so forth. Okay. Find question one here, the geometric mean of 256 and 1024. Question two, the 11th term. And uh, question three here, we need to find the sum of the first 11 terms. So how do we answer this question? All right, so let's do this. All right, so to find the geometric mean of 256 and uh, 1024, all what you need to do or all what you need to understand on this one is uh, that geometric mean this simply means get these given two numbers you multiply them and find uh, their square root so what we are going to do here is uh, to get these two numbers we multiply them so that is uh, 256 times 1024 that is the first step so when we multiply 256 times 1024, we are getting a two, 262, 144, like that. Okay? So once we do that, we now find the square root. So we do this. The square root of this. And uh, we are getting a. When we punch actually on our calculator, we are getting a 512. So this is 512. So the geometric mean of uh, this and this will be 512. Let's go to question two, where we need to find the 11th term. All right, so the next question here, we have been asked to find the 11th term. So if you're able to remember on the question, we know that the sequence was uh, like this. We had 4, uh, 8, comma, comma 16, and so on and so forth. Okay. So this is the sequence that we're dealing with. So now to be able to find the 11th term, we need to understand the formula. And this formula looks like this. This is the formula that we need to depend on, okay? So this formula will just help us find the term and be able to know that, uh, uh, to be able to know the term that is on the 11th position, okay? So don't confuse things. You may be thinking of the formula which looks like this. Don't use this formula, okay? Which looks like this. This formula, we only use it when we are dealing with the arithmetic progression. Now that we are dealing with the geometric progression, our focus must be on uh, this formula. So on the formula here, what is our A? Our A will be a 4. The number that is uh, starting the sequence. Okay, always the number that is starting is your A. And then you say times, what is our R? In this case, our R is... Uh, a 2. Okay? Hopefully you can see our R is a 2. Let me just remove the brackets. So our R is a 2. Now, how did I know that R is a 2? This is the, a common ratio. It's a common ratio. So this is our R. How do we get to find R? You just get two terms that are following each other. In this case, I've decided to get 4 and 8. You start with the one to your right side. That is 8. 
and then divide it by the one to your left, which is 4. So 8 divided by 4, it will give us a 2. Okay. And also, if you want, you can use 16 and 8. So it's 16 divided by 8. You are still getting what? A 2. So this is what we call common ratio. Okay. In other ways, uh, it's a constant that we are multiplying to each term to find the next term. So here, 4 times 2, it's 8. 8 times 2, it's 16. 16 times 2, it's 32, and so on and so forth. So that's our our error. Now for our n, remember there is n here. n will be the what we've been asked, the num the term, what we've been asked. In this case, it's 11. So we shall say 11 minus a 1, like that. Okay? So now from this stage, we work out things. We have a 4 times 2 times a, a 10 there. Power 10, sorry. Okay? So what is uh, what is uh, 2 power 10? So for 2 power 10, it will just give us a, a 1... 24, 1024, okay? So that's the 2 power 10. What it means here, it means multiply this 2 by itself 10 times, okay? So this is what we are getting. And when we say times a 4, our final answer will simply be equal to 4096. So this is our answer, 4096. So let's check out the last question where we are asked to find uh, the sum of the first 11 terms. All right, so for the sum of the first 11 terms, as usual, we need the formula for sum. It looks like this. This is the formula that we are going to use. So if you can see nicely, this topic is all about uh, knowing the formulas. Okay, so now what is our A? Remember we said the first term is our A, open bracket. Our R, we found a 2, and then N here is what we've been asked. It's 11 minus a 1 here, okay, over 2 minus a 1, okay? So 2, you can see down here, R, it's a 2 minus a 1. So when we simplify here, we're getting a 4. And when we say 2 to the power 11, it's giving us a 2, 0, 4, 8, minus 1 there. Okay? Down here, when we simplify, we're getting what? Eh? We're getting a, a, a 1. So we, we have a 4 here. And then when we simplify inside here, when we say minus a 1, we are getting a 2, 0, 4, and 7. Divide by 1 here, the answer will just be the same here, which is equal to when we multiply times a 4, because these brackets, they mean multiplication. So 4 times what is inside, that is 8,088. This is our answer. Thank you. Thank you so much for watching. This has been Sichamba Jacob. All right, so to the people that would like to do online tuitions with us, this is a number that you can get in touch with. Us on right here will be able to guide you on how you can do online tuitions with us. All right, let me just talk about the subjects that we offer. We have got English. Okay, we've got uh, math. We've got uh, science. We've got uh, we've got uh, biology. We've got uh, what else? Five. We've got civic education. We've got uh, RE. We've got uh, commerce. So currently, these are the subjects that we are offering. So once you WhatsApp this or call. We'll be able to guide you on how you're supposed to join our online classes. Thank you and bye-bye.